Hello, my name's uh, Jonathan Porterfield of Eco Cars. A short video clip now of our other uh, LPG Astra Estate. That's on a 56 plate, registered 31st of January 2007. And uh, we have two of these, one with 31,000 miles and this one has 39,000 miles. Both come from the same leasing company, both with factory fitted LPG systems from Millbrook. Uh, we'll just get the extra dual fuel bagging. Uh, just to show you the boot area, we've got a load cover and also like a, as with the other car, like a load guard, like a dog guard that clips into the sides of the uh, roof at the top and they can be secured on those clips. i have just not secured it yet because I need to uh, vacuum the car. That's the spare. Now this is bolted to the floor so this can be removed as the uh, space where the spare should be is taken up with the LPG tank. And there's even still the original plastic backing still on the uh, the chrome rub strip so that uh, was how it was when it left the factory so it's in very clean condition so we have a load cover as well and you can fill up the boot space by removing the spare and carrying a tin of tyre sealant. It's extremely clean. I've got a high level brake light, rear wash wipe. There are no chips or dents or marks to this vehicle at all. Um, let me show you inside. In the rear, manual windows in the back, some side airbags, rear muck pockets, and there's two, um, no, three rear inertia seat belts, and a pair of headrests in the back. Still smells like a brand new car. There are no rips or tears to any of the fabric or upholstery. It really is in very clean condition. Electric one shot windows in the front, electric wing mirrors, driver's seat is height adjustable. Again, the driver's seat, nice and clean, no nasty odours or stains or rips to any of the upholstery. I'll show you behind the documents, there we go. So it really is in very nice condition. So on the inside of this uh, Astra Estate, we have a single shot CD player, all the normal radio controls, which also can be controlled from the steering wheel as well, which is very useful. We have air conditioning, recirculate, heated rear screen, um, speed of the fan, uh, temperature of course, and the direction of the airflow. A uh, nice neat uh, 12 volt power point, so there's no cigarette lighter fitted, no ashtray, so it doesn't smell of smoke in here and a five-speed manual gearbox. Front passenger airbag, we have airbags in the A pillar and the B pillar and of course in the sides of the front seats as well as the normal driver's airbag as well. Um, what else can I tell you? All the lighting controls are here and that's the all-important LPG switch. So that's it switched to petrol and of course you leave it to switch permanently down to gas. Now if I turn the ignition on You'll see if you can see in the sunlight, there we go, it will flash. That's denoting it's going to start up on petrol. And when it stops flashing, there we go, after about two seconds, it's running on LPG autogas. So it really is that quick. Um, both levels of both fuels are measured on the one fuel gauge. So because we're switched to LPG autogas, there's just over half a tank of gas uh, left. And then if you switch back to petrol, in about 10 minutes, it'll tell you how much petrol is in the petrol tank. But literally, I would say perhaps £10 worth of petrol will probably last you about a year because the uh, it's only running on, on petrol from cold, from starting up for about two or three seconds. We guarantee the mileage there, 39,628 miles. No warning lights are present and uh, this is backed up by a full service history. There's also a neat head-up display for the radio and also the outside air temperature as well as the date. So looking at the documents of the vehicle we have a uh, Vauxhall wallet here with the, the audio manual, also some quick reference guides and also a normal car user manual is there as well. Um, what else can I say, there's uh, some documents here from Millbrook who carried out the conversion just telling you basic uh, operating procedures for filling uh, an autogas vehicle. Uh, the V5 uh, is leased by Lex Auto Lease and it's showing one previous keeper which was Lex. So basically they moved addresses from Chester to Birmingham. 
So there's been one owner, but uh, because they moved offices, you'll be down as the third owner. Um, just looking at the V5. Now, as with most lease vehicles, they never get round to changing the taxation class to alternative fuel vehicle, which we will happily do. And type of fuel can be changed to gas by fuel, which means you get £10 off your road tax. So uh, we're more than happy to do that for you. And it can be £10 off your road tax for the rest of the life of the vehicle. It's just a one-off thing you have to do with DVLA. The MOT certificate um, is until the 31st of January 2012 with no advisory. And you can also check the MOT on Vosa's website quoting that MOT test number. We also have the official certificate from Millbrook showing uh, it's an, uh, an official Vauxhall conversion converted at 10 miles and um, we have the car's details and its VIN chassis number there as well. Uh, the service book, we're still waiting for the service book but as per the other Astra it's got a full service history uh, so it was MOT'd in January so I assume it's had a service then but there's a service print which basically so shows it had its uh, time based service at 13,000 miles it had a three year so another service there at 28 and another service at 31,000 miles um, and quick fit tyres at 36,000 miles um, yes but when it had an MOT which would have been at 38,000 miles in January it would have been serviced again so we will endeavour to uh, get the rest of the documents just to prove that it's uh, it was serviced in January. Uh, oh, there was also a spare key that came with the vehicle as well. So finally looking around this Astra, it's extremely clean. There are no chips or dents to any of the bodywork. The front bumper's nice and clean. Lots of try and all tread on all the tyres. This wheel trim was scuffy, so I've just replaced that with a brand new one. Um, this rear trim, there's a few small marks. Again, lots of tread on that tyre, as you can see. One. This one has a few marks on the plastic trim, but again, lots of tread on the tyre. And the front near side tyre, again, lots of tread left. And I've just replaced that wheel trim because that was scuffed. So uh, it wants for nothing, this car. The windscreen is chip free. So as you can see, it's in very nice condition. 39,000 miles, a factory fit LPG vehicle. So if you have any more questions about this or any of our vehicles, and feel free to give me, Jonathan, a call anytime. Thanks for watching.